Well, that lifted all of our spirits. That was very moving. Hmm. Well, speaking of moving, I think some of us did a better job than others. Hmm. <laughs> some of us could get up and do it than others. Well, I think it was great to see everybody kind of come together. Hmm. And, and I believe that all of us have amazing abilities. Hmm. But a few are not enough. I think we need everyone in this mission. I think all of you should be on this team. Right. Yeah! <laughs> Hot dog! All right. Mr. Furry, I... I agree, but I think you've been so consumed with trying to find a new superhero that you forgot all those you already have. Hmm. Look around you. They're all out here. Hmm. They are. They're all Mega Brain, as usual, you're correct. Yeah. We have many heroes already serving in many ministries already. Yeah. Maybe we just need to honor the ones that we have. That's a good idea, yeah. yeah. I would really like to thank the people who come alongside our students here who have some kind of a challenge in their life. And the King's Kids helpers have done such an awesome job. Just way to go, team. And I'd like to thank all those who uh, take and sacrifice to go on a mission, short-term mission trip. Right now, we, we just had a whole bunch of our church family in Thailand. And a thank you also to those of you who pray and who financially give so that they can go. Absolutely. I want to thank all who serve in our support groups for both children and adults to, uh, to navigate some of life's biggest challenges. So thank you very much mm. for doing that. And I'd like to thank those who work in the, the Billy Graham Call Center. I mean, they're hearing and praying uh, with tons of people and, uh, and helping them come to Christ. Mm -hmm. We are so thankful to the technicians, musicians, everyone who comes Sunday morning really early to set up and warm up so that we can have a wonderful morning of worship together. So thank you. We'd like to thank all of you who serve in artistic ministries and just help us um, draw close to the Lord by presenting the gospel in a creative way. So thank you very much. Gracias. Thanks to uh, the Sunday morning missionary prayer team. And I'd like to thank those who are on the visitation team who visit people who can't leave their houses to pray with them and sing worship songs with them. We're also very thankful to those who come and are our greeters on Sunday, who gives hugs and handshakes, help people to get uh, feel like they're welcome here at Trinity Church on Sunday mornings. Mm -hmm. I want to thank those who uh, serve at Micah House, devoting themselves to helping kids and their families in our local community. Special shout out and thank you to all of our Koine leaders who shepherd our flock well. That's right. I want to say a special thank you. We did something a little different this year where Fuente de Vida and our 50 plus ministry came together for a fabulous Christmas program. Mm. I'd like to thank all of you that were involved in that and in your partnership together. Mm. Yeah. The Lord opened new doors this year for a ministry to those who are homeless. Our Welcome Home team did an awesome job of providing furniture, kitchen goods, bath goods, everything that these new families needed. So thank you guys. Way to go. And I'd like to thank those of you who love our middle school and high school students by being their small group leaders. I want to thank all who have served with our Light and Power ministry, a ministry that's now been in existence for over 20 years, serving the community with disabilities. Yeah. 
And I'd like to thank our missionary care folk. They do a marvelous job caring for our missionaries, both local and overseas. Mm, thank you. The children in this room and hundreds more are well cared for every week with the Trinity Learning Center staff. They prepare faithfully so that we can learn God's Word together with our young people. So thank you very, very much. Um, For those of you who give just countless hours to our singles ministry, we just want to say a big, huge thank you very much for that commitment. Great. And thanks again to all the people who serve meals at Cornerstone. Muchas gracias. Mm. And I'd like to thank those who take time out of their schedule on Monday mornings to help count the offering, and for those on Fridays who stuff the thousands of worship folders. Yes. And we want to say a very big thank you to our middle school and high school super sitters that serve in TLC. Yes. Yeah. I want to thank our elders and their, their families. They faithfully serve the, the Lord as they lead our church. And a, a big thank you to them. Yes. Amen. International Friendship Connection has an opportunity to serve universities <laughs> all over the Inland Empire. And a uh, big thanks to the International Friendship Connection. Awesome. Yay. You know, during this transition year, a lot of people have had to step up in a lot of different areas. And one area in particular is a special thank you to those who have provided leadership in our women's ministry uh, during this first year since Elizabeth has stepped down. So special thanks right. to those of you on the core yeah. and all of you that are serving. Yeah. And we just want to take a couple of minutes to spread out and come by and thank you in a more personal way. All right, if I could have your attention one last time just to kind of bring the evening to a close here. You know, we do this every year. And we go through all the craziness, all the insanity, and I hope in the midst of this that you understand the heart behind it. I often say when I give our kids gifts at Christmas that I hope you hear that it's not just about the gifts, it's about the love that's behind it. And I hope you don't get so caught up that you miss the expression of love that's behind it. And the reason we do this each year and put the work into it, by the way, um, Kim, Simons, and Steve really took the lead in putting all of this together, so special thanks uh, for the work that they put into this. But I did just want to say, probably more than ever, this is a great opportunity to give a very heartfelt thank you to those of you that have served faithfully in ministries. This has not been the easiest year at Trinity. It's obviously a transition year. A lot of us on the pastoral staff change roles. A lot of us are doing things that are completely different than what we were doing last year at this time. Jim stepped into high school ministry. Steve has stepped into small group ministry. I, my, of course, my role has changed. But you know, the one consistent thing that has been in all of our changes is you and your commitment to serve the Lord faithfully. In spite of the changes, in spite of everything that's, that's been going on, we are very grateful. And like I said, probably more than ever, want to appreciate how much we have needed you as Trinity Church to continue on to press on in ministry. We have said from the beginning that we are without a senior pastor, but we are not without a head of this church. And that the head of the church is the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And go ahead. He's worth it. <laughs> and our passion coming into this transition season was just to maximize, to make the most of the time that God has given us, not to slip into neutral, not to tread water, but to press on making the most of the time that God has given us. We've challenged you as a church to come together as family, not to pull apart during this season, and you have. It has been exciting to see an influx of new families coming into Trinity. There are things that a lot of people would say should not happen during a transition time. Anytime we offer first base, we've had tons of people coming. We've had people joining the church. 
We've had people stepping up to serve. We, last week, we saw people baptized on Sunday morning. God is at work at Trinity Church. And it's, I think it's because we have not had the mindset of let's just push pause until a new senior pastor comes. But let's keep pressing forward, making the most of the days that God has given us. And I wanted to share one verse of Scripture with you because you kind of reach this time of year. Where we've been serving for a long time. We're feeling the stress. We're feeling the pain. Sometimes we need that encouragement to keep going. And for me, this is a verse I keep coming back to in 1 Corinthians 15. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. So thank you for serving. Be encouraged that what you are doing, what we are doing matters to God. God's using it in the lives of people Let's keep coming together, learning how to love each other even more earnestly, as we read in 1 Peter, to love each other deeply and continue on with the mission that God has called us to, to be a community of Christ followers, longing to glorify God by loving God, loving people, sharing the gospel, and serving the world. And on behalf of the pastoral staff, just let me say, we cannot say how profoundly grateful that during this time when it's tempting to maybe wander off and drift into other places that you have stayed firm within Trinity Church and that we have joined together as partners in the gospel and we're seeing God work and God use us. It doesn't matter that it's a transition period. In God's eyes, it's always go, right? And so let's praise the Lord for that. Let me close this in prayer. Father God, I thank you for this time that we have had together to laugh, to enjoy time around the tables, to enjoy some food, uh, to be reminded that we're called to be pastors, not actors and singers and dancers. But Father, most importantly, to be able to give glory to you by honoring those who come and serve faithfully. Father, I thank you for those who have come to know Christ during this time. I thank you for those families that you have brought to join our body here at Trinity Church. I thank you for the new Koinonia groups. I thank you for... The, the baptisms we were able to witness and just see you at work in the lives of people. So thank you, Father God, for how you are at work. We pray that that would continue as we continue to run this race with our eyes focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, may we be encouraged by that verse that our labor is not in vain. So thank you, Father God. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thank you all for coming. God bless you. We love you.